What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. If you're getting this DNS probe possible error or something similar where it's DNS probe something, this video should show you how to fix it and give you a really quick workaround if you don't feel like troubleshooting. So let's get into it. To fix the DNS probe possible error and other similar ones, we need to figure out what's wrong with our DNS provider or switch to use a new one. By default, a DNS server is set for you by your internet service provider. Sometimes this may have issues or of course, your computer may be using an outdated server and things like that. What we can do is in our browser, enter a specific URL to get to the back end and control some things. In Chrome, you'll be entering Chrome net hyphen internals slash hash DNS. You'll find this linked down below. All we'll do here is we'll click clear host cache and this may be the one click solution you need. Heading across to Google, things seem to be working, which is great. This one click solution fixed my issue. If this hasn't fixed your issue or you're in something like Firefox, we can try another one. Let's try the same action we just did inside of our browser, but instead in Windows. Hit start, type in CMD and open command prompt as administrator. Inside of here, type in ipconfig, one word, space, forward slash, release. Hit enter, then use the command ipconfig space forward slash renew. Then we'll use the command net sh winsock reset as such. And just like that, we've basically clicked that button, except in Windows this time. Now, things should hopefully be working properly. If things are still not working for you, you can try changing your DNS server in Windows. Hit start, type in control panel, and we'll be opening up the old default control panel here. You'll find network and sharing center, or if you've got categories, network and internet. Inside of here, network and sharing center. And now that we're in the same place, head across to change adapter settings on the left, then find the way that you're connected to the internet, be it an ethernet cable or in my case, Wi-Fi, right click, choose properties and scrolling down to internet protocol version four, TCP IPv4, select it and choose properties. Then in this pop-up here, choose use the following DNS server addresses. And then in each of these slots, we'll be entering some text. You can use, for example, eight space, eight space, eight space, eight, which places four eights in here, which is Google's DNS. Alternatively, you can enter 1.1.1.1 as such, which is Cloudflare's DNS server. There's a few other DNS servers that we can choose from, but these are the most easy to remember. I like choosing validate settings upon exit, but you don't have to, then you click OK and close here. Then if you tick that box, it'll see if the internet works properly and if it couldn't find a problem, great. At this point, things should hopefully be working properly. If you're still struggling, you can hit control shift and escape all at the same time to bring up your Windows task manager. Under the services tab, which is this puzzle piece at the very bottom on Windows 11, you can sort by name and we'll be looking for clicking anywhere, typing DNS, DNS cache or the DNS client. You can then right click this and choose restart or alternatively stop and start. Once this is done, hopefully things are working properly. If you're on Windows 10 and you don't have this puzzle piece tab or the services tab, you can hit start and type in services. Opening up services or services.msc should take you to this over here, which is very similar. Sort by name, type in DNS after clicking anything, takes you straight to DNS client. And again, you can right click and choose restart. And that's it. At this point, things should hopefully be working properly. If there's only certain websites that aren't working properly and they're giving you some DNS error, it may be your host's file or something similar telling your computer to, instead of looking up websites, redirect it locally to a certain address. This completely skips DNS and could be breaking certain websites. Hold Start or the Windows key and press E to bring up a new file browser. Head into C followed by Windows, then System32, Drivers, ETC, and inside of here, you'll find Hosts. Copy this file to your desktop or somewhere similar temporarily as we can't edit the file in this location here. We'll need to place it somewhere else, open it, edit it, and then copy it back, overriding this file to apply our changes. Hit start and open up a new notepad. Drag and drop the host file that we just copied into here and you'll see a whole bunch of text. Basically, anything that starts with a number 
followed by an address points this address to this number. If you've got something like google.com here and Google isn't working, make sure that you have a hash before the line, which prevents this redirect. Alternatively, you can just delete these lines that have websites mentioned that you can't access. Once you save changes in this file, you can then copy the file from your desktop or wherever it is back into this etc folder and choosing to replace the file updates your hosts file. You will need admin privileges to do so. And that's it. We've now hopefully fixed any DNS errors that you could be getting on your system. If not, the easiest other solution is using a VPN, which replaces your DNS provider and is usually a one-click solution. Now I could suggest NordVPN and things like that, for which I do have an affiliate link, which you'll find down below. But instead, if you're looking for something completely free that actually doesn't even change your IP address, it's a transparent VPN, you can have a look at Cloudflare's. It's not sponsored in any way, I just had internet issues and this was the easiest one-click solution. Searching for Cloudflare Warp and clicking the first link takes us across to Cloudflare Docs where we can download Warp. Once you download and install it, you can open it up and it'll appear in your start menu down here in the tray icons section. We can click on it when it's gray or colored in, gray meaning disconnected, and we can choose to connect it just by ticking this. In the settings over here, I have it set as 1.1 with warp over here, which is their Cloudflare VPN tunnel. This connects you to Cloudflare's servers and then out to the greater internet instead of you connecting directly to the greater internet, giving you a different route to websites, both physically and through configuration, through things like your DNS, and they should hopefully skip any issues, especially physical ones, between you and whatever website you're trying to connect to. Once you're done, you can disconnect, and that's that. Warp is a completely free service provided by Cloudflare. If you'd like to look further into it, you can, but for me, it was a simple solution. But yeah, that's about it. So, hopefully this video helped you. Thank you all for watching. Mine's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.